I'll kill anything with more legs than two. <laughs> I bet you will. All right. Hello. Welcome back to a deep rock galactic video, y'all. Today's video, I'm going to be going on a solo hazard five mission with Gunner here, taking the hurricane guided rocket launcher system as the primary with the unstable overclock salvo module. And I'll be taking the BRT7 burst fire gun with its unstable overclock and a voted on overclock, the electro minelets. Before I get into how I have the guns built, YouTube is recommending my content to you, and you just found my channel out of the blue, like the content I make, maybe consider subscribing. Really appreciate it, help the channel grow, and I type guys along for the ride. All right, so we have the hurricane here today. How I have built is a more total ammo in tier one, armor breaking in tier two, an improved rate of fire in tier three, and a uh, better area damage in tier four, and heat in tier five. And then for the unstable overclock, like I said, salvo module, basically how salvo module works is um, you can fire up to seven missiles at the same time just by holding down the uh, mouse one button or the fire button, whether you're on controller or PC. And a reticle will show up in your crosshair indicating how many rockets you actually have uh, built up. And you get extra damage for each loaded missile. So every single time you load up, let's say like two or three or four, the damage starts to stack up meaning it's just going to do an even more exponential damage when you fire out all nine rockets. But at the cost, the salvo missiles cannot be guided, which isn't too bad. <laughs> this overclock is more like a feature than anything to the hurricane, which kind of feels like it should just be a part of the, the hurricane in general. But at the same time, I get why it's not. I get why it's it's choosable to be a shotgun. <laughs> then for the burst fire gun, how I have it built here today is in tier one. I have blow through rounds tier two. I have a better recoil. I have more magazine size in tier three, more total ammo in tier four, and stun in tier five. Then, like I said, for the unstable overclock, it's electro minelets. Basically, what electro minelets does is bullets convert into to electric mine heads upon hitting the ground. But at the cost, you have a small decrease in damage and a decrease in magazine magazine capacity. So, with the recent changes to how electricity works in Deep Rock Galactic, I was kind of asking the question to myself: Is electro minelets good now? So I'm just wondering if this overclock can actually stand the test of time and, you know, actually be useful. <laughs> so that's what we're just going to find out here today. For the shield generator, I, how I always have it built is fast recharge speed in tier one and two, lasting effect in tier three. For the zip launcher, I have more total ammo in tier one, better reach in tier two, since it's the only one you can get, and then a movement speed in tier three. For the grenade today, I have the sticky grenades. Then for Lloyd. Oh, wait, you're Bosco. <laughs> I'll revise car grenades and electric bullets. All right. What mission shall we go on today? I guess we can do a, uh, why not? Let's do a, let's do a, an escort duty with this. Yes, yes, I know I'm in the mod hub. <laughs> Get out of here. Any nitra? Well, there's nitra down there. Oh, that's gold. Oh, I just saw the nitra. There it is. Oh yeah, and it's fossils too. Uh. Yay, fossils. <laughs> I love fossils. Also, we got an incoming swarm. Oh, I love that line so much. Oh, hey. Stop that. Gotcha. Uh, are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? <laughs> Stay away, bugs. I'm getting my shield back and I'm protecting Doretta. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Alright. Stop that nonsense. Are we? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it does work a lot to slow down the enemies, that's for sure. Spitball effector. Protect me! Protect me, Dredda! Protect me! <laughs> you can definitely count on the fact that um, the moment you shoot just a single grunt with the burst, it'll die because of the minelets. Hmm, it's definitely kind of got its quirks. 
Well, there's nothing that gives you electric bonus damage for driller or driller <laughs> for gunner. The electricity is definitely a lot faster, though. I will say that. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> All the oil shell just decide. Let's spawn over here. <laughs> yeah, cool. I like how we heard a bunch of bugs, but none of them attacked Doretta. Like, <laughs> okay. The drill dozer is on the move. The drill dozer is en route to the hospital. Yeah. Expect heavy resistance. Oh god, we're gonna go right through a swarmer nest. Or not, it just got destroyed. <laughs> Definitely cleared that up really fast. Ah, son of a gun. I was like, uh, is Bosco actually reviving me or I got I definitely got a bug. I didn't get any, I don't think. Oh really now? Bosco can't get me. <laughs> you mother <laughs> Mother f All right, time to be really try hard. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's Steve. Cool. Here's Steve now. Yeah, I am trying to at least. Oh, these motherfucking bugs. I'm gonna lose a part. I just know it. Come on. Oh. Repair, repair. Owie! Oh. Uh, yeah. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yeah, cool. Win. Nice. All y'all are dead. <laughs> Besides you, apparently. Woo! I almost don't want to go after fossils now. <laughs> uh, God. All right. <laughs> it definitely does do a lot, though, I will say. That is definitely really fun to see. But I don't know if the electricity damage is 
any better than what it was. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, now we gotta get fossils, so... Hold on. For the one... We also still gotta check the starting cave, too. <laughs> Molly, get your fat ass back over here. I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. Not a whole lot of bugs have spawned in yet. Me. <laughs> I am the scout. <laughs> That's it. Here's nine. Damn it. <laughs> Trying to be cool. Um, oh, there you go. Give me. <laughs> there you go. Got all 10. There we go. <laughs> Full resupply time. And it's back where Doretta is. Nice. Like it all was planned. <laughs> Open the doors. Molly's in there. Yeah. Rocket stone. <laughs> nice. Bye, Steve. Steve went out fighting like a true hero. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> nice. And only four downs. Let's go. <laughs> all right. I still had a really fun time even when I lost all my revives. This salvo module build is so much fun. This is just my most favorite way to build salvo module. I really do recommend anyone this build if you get salvo module. And the BRT Electro Mindlets, I I don't know if it was buffed or I don't know. It's it's still not really that satisfying to use. I guess it's mainly because Mindlet builds are not really good <laughs> or I, I just I don't know. I wouldn't say Mindlet build Mindlet uh, overclocks are bad, but I also wouldn't say that they're really um, like over the top, like, you know, like overpowered or anything like that. It was still really nice though to have like uh, swarms or hordes of grunts coming to you, getting slowed down by all the electricity. I don't know though. I I was still wouldn't I wouldn't take this overclock a whole lot, but it's definitely something nice to switch to every now and then when I get bored of my original build. But yeah, no. Anyways though, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do appreciate anyone who stuck to the end. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you didn't subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Rock and stone miners. Thank you.